Hello and welcome back. And today we're going to do another Synology QNAT mashup. What we're going to do is we're going to utilize the brand new Thunderbolt 3 to 10 GBE device from QNAT, known as the QNA T310G1T, and use this portable patch device to connect a Thunderbolt 3 Windows machine to a Synology NAS, namely the brand new DS1819 Plus. Um, other tests we've done in the past, we've tried to use devices from both of these brands together have generally ended in blocking or failure. And today we're going to find out one, does the new Synology support the new QNAP adapter? And moreover, what speeds are we going to get utilizing four SSDs in a RAID 0 environment utilizing AJA and Black Magic? Now, I've already done this test with the Sol Sonnet Solo 10G, and it is worth mentioning that the CPU in the Synology is going to be a little bit of a limiting factor here. Um, as it's an Intel Atom, uh, we are probably only going to see speeds of around 4 or 500. If we'd fully populate a device uh, with more enterprise level SSDs, we may have seen RAID speeds more than that. But for now, we're going to run this test. I haven't done this yet, so let's find out how this goes. Um, I'm going to use the same testing environment that I did for the Sonic. So in the case of this, it is the QNAP adapter connecting this Thunderbolt 3 machine to this DS1819 Plus utilizing the official Son um, Sonology 10GBE 10G Base T card. Um, it's the same um, test environment, so there's the RAID we created in the previous video. Go there. There's the SSDs, it's four SSD EVOs, 250 gig each in a RAID 0 environment. And we're going to run the test straight away, it's on the same network drive at T. And again, if you don't know how to map a network drive, I do recommend you check out the previous video using the Sonic device or my other videos where I show you how to set up a mapped network drive from a NAS over 10 GBE connecting directly. So we're gonna run the test on here. Straight away, this is using one GBE files, video files, and immediately we are getting those speeds, exactly the same speeds that the Sonic was giving us. I'm going to leave that running for a little bit before we run into the AJA test and of course a file transfer test. But these are pretty much the speeds I was expecting from there. Again, of course, we wouldn't have got Thunderbolt 3 speeds. It would have been highly unlikely to get those speeds um, for obviously because we're running into a 10 GB adapter and the, the clear fact that this is of course not like an i5 or an i7 or a Xeon based CPU which will give you raised speeds overall. So again, we're going to wrap things up there on that test. And next, because I'm sure it's going to work anyway, but let's try the AJA test. Let AJA boot up. There's our target drive T again on the Synology. Let that run. Should get exactly the same speeds too. not too shabby. Finally, we're gonna do the read and write test. So once again, let's use those same files from before. Copy, go down there, bring back the T drive. There's our drive there. Gonna copy it over. Very disappointing speeds there all of a sudden. What has changed? The speeds are rising. So again, slower boot up than before. That was quite strange when we did the previous test. And that's really the only difference so far between using these two devices. I will say at direct data transfer, there has been a slight dip compared with the Sonic. Now, whether that's because the test environment is ever so slightly different, or the fact that the SSDs in this device have already been used to do this previously, and they might have been spinning down something that you shouldn't get from an SSD compared with a hard drive, but there's still no denying that these two devices do work together very well indeed. Now, I'll be running these same tests on a Synology, uh, sorry, a QNAP now shortly, the TS453BE, to see what the speeds we're going to be getting from that. That uses, uses a slightly uh, more efficient and modern J3455. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. It makes a nice change for a, um, a QNAP peripheral to work with a Synology NAS or vice versa. Uh, if you enjoyed this, click like and subscribe if you found it useful. And I do recommend using Thunderbolt 3 to 10 GB adapters for photo and video editing, but it will always matter which media you choose to use. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.